Hello everybody, today I would like to do a video demo about modeling this soft shape which can be used to simulate cushion like patterns. Okay, let's start. Let's hide this first. The first thing we need to do is to create a square plane using the rectangular plane command. Okay, we got the plane. Okay, now what I need to do is to rebuild these are flat degree 1 surface into a degree 3 surface with 6 control points on both the U and the V directions. So type the review. Okay, degree set to 3, 3, point count set to 6, 6 on both the U and the V. Click OK. Let's turn the points on. Now what we need to do next is to select the four innermost control points and to move them up in the Z direction using the gumball. You might want to also do some proportional scaling by pressing holding the shift key and dragging the scaling widget on the gumball. Next, we need to do a 45 degree rotation to this object. And we need to cut it into 4 equal portions. We will do that by drawing 2 lines as uh, cutting objects. Make sure the grid snap end is turned on when you are doing that. Ok, use the split command to cut the surface into four portions. Now we need to reposition the two lower portions to new locations. Make sure the gumball is turned on, press and hold the control key. Move the gumball's uh, pivot center and using the object snap, snap it to a new location. Okay, we're going to do the same for the other piece. Okay, and move it and snap it to a new location. Okay, we have successfully created one half of the instance. We need to create the other half, but let's do a join first. Okay, create the other half using the mirror command. Like that. Okay, let's join them. Let's analyze the surface continuity. As you can see, the surfaces are aligned G2 or curvature continuous. Let's make some more instance of this uh, part. Let's use the linear array to do it. Okay, set the number of items to 3. Okay, first reference point. Second reference point. Yeah. We got this. Let's repeat the process again. Okay. First reference point. Second reference point. Yep. We created all the 
instances on the top region. Analyze surface environmental map. Yeah. Okay, don't be too concerned about that gap there. Um, it's actually just a visual display issue. But to be sure, let's do some analysis. Okay, so let's join all the surfaces together. Go to Analyze, H2, Show H. And show naked edge. As you can see, there are no interior naked edges, so this means that the edges are properly aligned. Now we need to move this stuff slightly up and mirror a portion below. Okay, now all we need to do is to create the sides. We can do that by using the blend surface command. Okay, set the both sides to curvature. As all the pieces are identical, we can simply use the mirror command to make more instances. Let's do another mirror again. Let's join all the side pieces. Let's mirror these side pieces to the other side. Oops. Okay. Now I'm going to create uh, another copy of this. Pressing the holding the Alt key. Yep, created another copy. And I'm going to use this new copy to be placed onto one of the remaining sides. Okay. I'm going to move the Gumball's pivot to one corner and going to reposition the object. Make sure the object's end is uh, turned on. Yep, we got it. Okay, I'm going to mirror that highlighted piece onto the other side. Yep. Okay. All we need to do now is to create the corner surfaces, which we can easily do so using the blend surface again. Okay, set uh, edges to curvature match. I'm going to use mirror to create the other instances of the corner surface. Okay, I think we have done all the surfacing. What we need to do next is just to join everything together and analyze to see whether it is a solid or not. 
So analyze mass property volume. Great. It's a solid. Let's do a zebra check. As you can see, all the surfaces are G2 or curvature continuously matched. So you will not be able to see any uh, visible lines or edges whatsoever. Let's type libraries. Let's assign a plastic material to our newly created object. Okay, as you can see, we have created the form nicely. Okay. That's all for my tutorial. Hope that's been useful to you. You can download a Rhino file of this in the link below. See you around. Bye.